everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you are new then hi, my name is Caitlin, welcome. And today I'm updating my No Pan Left Behind project pan. I am so excited for this update because we are changing quite a few things this month. I'm mixing things up because you know what, this project has got a little bit overwhelming. It is starting to clash with all the other eyeshadow panning projects that I'm doing. Now that it's coming to the end of the year, I am really trying to focus on finishing my Pan That palette. That update did go live last week, so I'll link it in the cards if you did miss that. As the year gets closer to the end, I am thinking of drawing back just a little bit, but that being said, I am doing this in a very fun way and I think you guys are going to absolutely love the changes that I'm going to be doing with this project because I am so unbelievably excited. So if you don't know what this project is, I have hand chosen a few palettes. So I have these three palettes that I was working on this month and I have to use every single shade from these palettes at least one time. So I love this project because it's not super hard. I can get loads of my products out, rolled out every month. It's really, really chill. Uh, I don't have like a mega hit pan goal and I can get some really good use on neglected palettes that I've not been able to reach for so far this year. Both of these palettes that I've been working on were featured in my palettes that I have not used yet this year video. That went live a few months ago now and I've slowly been working on different eyeshadow palettes palettes from that video. It really opened my eyes. I don't like having neglected products, especially eyeshadow, because I love eyeshadow so much. But just before we do jump into the video, if you have not already, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I do so many project pans, shop my stashes and get ready with me's here on this channel, mostly with bright, fun, colourful eye looks. I'm going to be sharing with you some really, really fun eye looks from these palettes from the last month. Some of them are really, really beautiful. This look is included. I am loving it. I'm loving it, but this is the kind of eye looks that we do here on this channel. Really fun, really out there, really colorful. I just love it. All right, so let's jump into it. So the oldest palette was my Frozen 2 Elsa palette, and this was rolled over from last month. So the only shades that we had to use were the shade Water, the shade Ice Crystals, the shade Flurry, the shade Northern Lights and the shade Cuddle Close. So I'm gonna budge up so we have some room for the looks. So the first look I did, this isn't a very good picture at all, I know. I hold my hands up, I know. But it was really, really simple look. I basically put water all the way in the crease and then I put ice crystals on the inner corner. I can't quite remember what I put on the lid, but I think it was just like an indie, like pastel roses duochrome kind of shade. But I do specifically remember ice crystals on the inner corner because I was like so blinded by this shade. This is such a pigmented silver. It is ridiculous but yeah this look isn't anything special it was just a kind of lazy look i didn't really you know want something super crazy that day i did end up using flurry on my nails i said that i would do that last month and that is what i did i love this shade it's got like purple green and blue glittery bits in it and it is stunning. And finally for this palette I did this look. I really really did like this look so I used my Pan That palette in my crease. I used Love Letter and then I think it was actually a Pan Those Eyeshadow shade. It was my single pink matte that I rolled in last month. And then I put Northern Lights all over the lid. This shade is so beautiful. It's like kind of got a blueiness to it, like a bluey pinky gold beautiful. And then I put Cuddle Close on the inner corner. This is super vibrant. I love this palette, but it's one of those palettes that I've really got to pull out. I've really got to tell myself that I am using it that day, otherwise it will go neglected. But when I do force myself to use it, I love it. Now let's talk about my Juvia's Place Zulu palette. This was a palette that I rolled in last month and as you can see it is super vibrant and super fun. So this is the first look that I did. Look at this look. Look at this look. Oh my god guys look at this look. It is like a butterfly wing with like sunset colours. <gasps> mm, I love this look so much. I love it. I love it. 
I love this look. I love this look. <laughs> so I used the purple on the like butterfly wing edge. I blended that out with the pink. These don't have shade names by the way, so I'm just gonna call them what they are. Then I blended that out with the orange and then I blended that out with the yellow. So that rules out all of these sunset-y kind of colors. I did do a shorts tutorial on this look if you were interested. I will link it in the cards above. I do these kind of 60 second tutorials on big bright looks. So if you are interested in things like that, definitely stick around because a lot of you guys were asking for tutorials and I love doing them. So uh, yeah, make sure you go watch them. Show them some love. Next. I'm going to share this look with you. It is a very, very simple look, uh, a bit of a throwback look. And I did use these two teals for that look. I just used them to blend out the outer edge of the taupes and the blue. So that was a pretty kind of hit and miss throwaway use of these two looks. I didn't do like a dedicated look for them, but I did use them. So that counts. And finally, this look today, I love, oh, look, look, look. I love it, I love it, I love it. So I used this brown to blend out a deeper brown from a different palette. Then I use this green on the outer part of my cut crease, how beautiful. And then I actually scraped out some of this pink and I used it as a liner. Can you see? They're a little bit wonky. This one's a little bit higher, but it's fine, it's fine. Can you see them? Oh, I love this look. I love this look and that marks all the shades used in this palette. I loved this palette so much. Uh, all the shades are so beautiful, so stunning. You can see I have three pans in it already and I, a part of me really wants to just use it all the time, every day and hit every single pan in this palette because it's gorgeous. And finally, I do have a six pan single shadow palette and I have used none of these. I have not touched this palette this month, but there is a reason why. So let's talk about the new roll-ins, shall we? So my thoughts, my thought process. I really want to focus on my pan that palette for the next few months of the year. There's not that much of the year left. I am stressing a lot about my pan that palette. I really want to get as much focus and just dedication on that palette as humanly possible and I know that this project it's like one using one shade one time like you know it's not that big a deal however I do also know that my single eyeshadow collection is neglected and that was the reason that I originally brought in this six pan palette into this project. I brought this in it's a nice way for my singles to get used and to get loved so this is my new idea. I will no longer be rolling in eyeshadow palettes. I will instead be randomizing nine single eyeshadows and that will be our focus for this project. So completely random, these shades have all been hand chosen. So I'm gonna keep these, but I'm gonna randomize three more single eyeshadows. They could be anything. If they do clash with my Pan That Palette, I will re-roll. But I think this is gonna be like a fun way of kind of reducing this project a little bit. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. I, I don't know, I just think it will be fun. A bit of randomization. We don't know what we're gonna get. So um, yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so I have 162 single eyeshadows. So we, first we have 153, then we have 158, and then we have 31. So let me go and pull those shades and we will be right back. Okay, so here we are with the six uh, shades that we were working on last month. And the three new shades are quite pretty actually. So first we have the XX Revolution shade one from the Exposed palette. So this is a, just a really nice basic transition shade. It's a little bit darker than a lid setting shade but I think this will look really, really nice with a lot of neutral shades. My Modern Renaissance does have a last transition shade, but it is very, very yellow toned. So this will be a very nice kind of change, a little bit more of a neutral vibe, which will be amazing. Then this shade you guys know I love. This is Little Star from the Pastel Roses. It is the most shimmery, beautiful, glittery like look at that iridescent -y, 
shimmery, beautiful yellow. I am so happy that I get to work on this. And then finally, this goes with it very, very well. This is the Revolution Maxi Reloaded shade 44, and it is a bright matte yellow. How cute is this little color story? I think this goes really nicely with some of the shades that we already have here. So these yellows could go with some of the blues, or they could go with Venus, which is the kind of pinky, reddy, orangey duochrome that we have. I'm really excited. This is definitely more manageable for me. I may pick the full project up at the start of next year with the whole palette, but for right now, I think this is just a nice condensed kind of challenge for me to try and pair some of these shades together. Let me know what you think of this new way of doing this project. For me, it's definitely a lot easier. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. What has been your favorite look from this video? Let me know down below. And also let me know what looks you would do with this new color story because I am very, very curious. So this is where I'm gonna love you and leave you guys. I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely like and subscribe because it would mean the world to me. I hope you have an absolutely incredible day and I will see you very, very soon for a brand new video. Bye!